haven't heard, I have caught the Hoya bug. This is my third box of Hoyas. With cuttings, I feel like it's obviously a little bit risky, but I did try to order plants that were pretty much um, easy to care for. So it's in a plastic bag. There's some newspaper as a filler. They look like they're tagged. And the first one I see is this one which I already have. The reason why I bought this one was because I was really hoping that this is the long form. Based on this, it actually still looks like the short form. This is where he cut it. I don't know. Looks like it was cut a while ago. Not a fresh cut, an old cut, but it's still super cute. You wanna see? I love the leaf. I love the marking on this plant. It is definitely one of my favorites. Let's see what's next in the bag. There's a lot of things in here. Oh my God. So this is the plant I was been wanting and seeing it all over Instagram. It actually has roots on it. What? And how do you pronounce this? I don't know. Anybody help? Help, how do you read this? But I have the non-variegated version and this is the variegated version. And this is all over Facebook and Instagram. It is to die for like, oh my God. I just love how variegated it is. Oh my God, look at this, look how pretty, look how pretty. Like every time I see it on Instagram or Facebook, I'm like, oh, I want this so bad. And now I have it. Okay, it's probably dirty. But that was awesome. Best Hoya ever. Okay, uh, calm down. What do we got here? <sighs> Next, it's the Brivalata. Brivalata. Yeah, this Hoya looks super cute. The leaves are like super succulent. I love the shape. It's kind of like a Oveda shape. And the leaves are falling off. Stop touching it, Christine. Ooh, it is a, you see, it's a milkweed plant. So the reason why I got this plant is because I love the little round leaves, but also my idol, Vermont Hoya, who, which is written by Doug, loves this Hoya. He's like, great Hoya, highly recommend it, can't go wrong. Two thumbs up, so I had to get it. And it is super cute. And since I'm growing mine's inside, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> It's so much better in person, except for the yellow leaves, but oh my God, can you see this? It's like, it's so soft. It has pubes, as my friend Jess would like to tell me. Actually, there's a more scientific name and she does use that name. I just don't remember what it is. Something about pubes. I would say this is definitely a soft uh, wooded Hoya, not like this one here, where it's super woody, like really firm. This one's definitely a soft Hoya. The leaves are amazing. Like, look at, check out the vines and the ripples, like, and it's shiny. And the name is Velosa? Velosa. So Velosa, uh, yeah, it just looks like a super cool plant. Love it, love the ripples, love the size of the leaves. Um, once again, this was, I think, 10 bucks. Pretty sure it was a letter C, and yes, these leaves are gonna fall off, which is fine. We have these two leaves at the bottom. Oh, fingers crossed, everything goes well. But look at this, it's so amazing. Okay, Velosa, moving on. This one is ginormous, I didn't realize. Oh no leaf rotted okay so this actually came with three leaves and there's one rotted so sad oh man oh man yeah i don't want that i wonder where i fell off from i don't know but okay so this is one of the rare hoyas where so i'm a foliage gal Maybe because all my Hoyas haven't flowered for me. So I predominantly buy Hoyas because I love their foliage. So this Hoya, I did not purchase due to its foliage. Although the foliage is very interesting. It's very stiff and it's big, as you can see. Um, I was very intrigued by this plant because somebody described 
the aroma of the flowers as spicy and citrus. It's just fantastic. So I love, I think I really love earthy floral smells. So the fact that she said it was spicy and citrusy sounds interesting to me. And it has a little bit of roots on it. So that's great. Oh my God. And this is the last one. And it is so cute. This is the Deshidia Oveda. Let's see how many of these they can give me. Give me one. Yeah, so two, and it has some roots on it. I believe this was also 10, which is still a great deal because if you try to buy this on Etsy, pretty sure it's like $18. Maybe the same size. So for 10 bucks, it's a great deal. Yeah, so the watermelon marking and if it's under high light, it will actually turn red. Some of the leaves are actually quite succulent, so kind of fat, so they're chubby, which is cute. And I'm gonna soak all of these um, for about two hours so that they will uh, perk up. But awesome, awesome Hoya haul, for sure. Like, most of these Hoyas look really good. Oh, and the one thing about this one, this has a freaking peduncle on it, dude. I didn't realize there was a peduncle. You're not supposed to cut that off, people. You leave it on because Hoyas will flower again from that same peduncle. Anyway, so overall, I am pretty happy with everything that I've gotten. Um, I really hope that I'll be able to keep everything alive and root everything. And uh, yeah, to the future Hoya Queen, everyone. <laughs> to the future Hoya Queen. Yes, congratulations. You're the Hoya Queen. Congratulations. <laughs>